Hey everyone, I'm back at it. This time headed into Pizza Hut on a rainy day for a little dip dip action on their Big Dipper pizza. So stay tuned because it's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Well, the box is huge and for good reason. It's nearly two feet long with this Big Dipper pizza here at Pizza Hut. And guys, I gotta admit, this actually looks really, really awesome. What we've got here is 24 dippable pizza breadsticks and your choice of sauces to go with here, guys. This is actually looking really, really great. I decided to go with the half and half. You can do all cheese, all pepperoni, or you can do the half that you see here. So we've got 12 sticks of the pepperoni and we've got 12 sticks of the cheese. So looking really fantastic, nice and toasty. For dipping, we've got some ranch, we've got some honey barbecue, and we've got two marineras here. But man, this definitely looks like a really awesome party pack. And I gotta admit, I am really digging the presentation on this one here. See if we can do a little flyby once again, looking nice and toasty. And on a rainy day, this is definitely awesome right now. So crispy, it definitely looks like there's a decent amount of pepperoni for sure, but a very nice situation here, guys. It's the Big Dipper Pizza here at Pizza Hut. Let's peep out this flavor. Man, I am a glutton for punishment right now, guys. Not only is it a rainy day as of this recording right now at this very moment, I'm actually reviewing something in my car that's literally about two feet long on top of it. So it's kind of crazy to try and do this right now. There's really no nice way to do this, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So before I get started, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, I'm holding a two foot long box, close to anyway, right here in front of you. This is kind of crazy. Let me start off with one of these here. I'm gonna start off with the cheese first. This is actually a very lovely situation, as you can see. Nice and crispy, nice and toasted. No sauce on this whatsoever. It's basically a glorified breadstick with some mozzarella cheese on it here. But let me just go for a quick bite and then we'll do some dip action. Hang on. Mmm. It's exactly what it says it is. It's like a breadstick, really. And there's nothing wrong with that because the dough is pretty nice, the cheese is pretty nice, it's nice and crunchy on the very top. And the fact that there's no sauce on it is actually a good thing because that's the purpose of all these dips that we have here. So let me go for a little classic marinara real quick here just to give a little bit of that real pizza vibe as you guys can see there, looking nice and toasted up with that sauce. Let's give this a shot by itself real quick. Straight cheese pizza, as you'd expect. Pretty good. And let's go down the line real quick, a little honey barbecue. I'm not really a fan of barbecue sauce on pizza, but then again, this is like glorified breadstick action here, guys. Let's give this a shot. Nice and thick on this one. Let's taste it. Yeah, it's just okay. Very, very sweet. The honey is coming through very nice though. I like that. And as for the ranch, that's one of my all time favorites, of course. You guys all know what ranch looks like right there. Very lovely situation. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Ranch definitely, then the marinara, then the honey barbecue, believe it or not. I'm not really a fan of barbecue, like I said, but that ranch is good. So yeah, I'm in the middle of a crazy rainstorm right now, having some Big Dipper pizza with you guys here in the car. Lovely situation indeed. Let's go into the pepperoni version of it. As you guys can see, each one has got about two or three pepperonis. Looks like three on each slice there. Nice situation, nice and crunchy, nice and toasted. Plenty of cheese as well. Let's try it by itself. Mm. Just like the other cheese one as always, with some of the pepperoni flair going with it there. Not bad, definitely not bad crispy edges on that pepperoni as well. Let's match it up with a little marinara action here. Lovely situation, of course. So we've got the marinara goodness and the pepperoni stuff to go with. Here we go. Mmm, that's good. You know, my only gripe, I didn't mention this earlier, the marinara is kind of on the cold side. This is only minutes old, but this marinara should be warm, but it's all right. Into the honey barbecue goodness here. Here we go, I'm not really a fan of this. This is probably gonna be the only time I'm gonna try it, but as you can see, nice and thick. Let's see how it is with the pepperoni flavor. No. Oh no. Mm -mm. Way too sweet. A lot of heavy sweetness on that. Pretty much drowns out the flavor of the pepperoni and everything else. But I am getting a little bit of it coming up on the back end, which is not bad. The crust itself though, I do like that a lot. It's a little bit more of the pan style. It's got a little bit of butteriness to it. Nice situation. But let me finish it off with what I think is gonna be my favorite already, only because I guess I'm kind of biased towards ranch, but with pepperoni here, how bad could this really be? Let's give it a shot. Mmm. 
That is the combo. It's always the combo as far as I'm concerned. Mm, man, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely awesome. And just overall, I think a better way to go with this would be the half and half. So if you're really big fans of pepperoni, but you still want a little bit of cheese, this is pretty much designed for like parties, that type of thing. So people have their choice on what to do. I like the choice of dipping sauces with the exception of that honey barbecue. Not really a fan of that, as I keep saying throughout this review. But guys, I love the presentation of this. I love how everything feels like it keeps going and going when you open the box and you're kind of scrolling through and you're seeing everything in here. This is a pretty lovely situation. And at about 50 to 55 cents per piece when you think about it, 13 bucks for this, not too bad for what it is, guys. I gotta admit, nice little add-on to a regular pizza that you would get here. So yeah, I would easily recommend this, but honestly, I would probably replace the honey barbecue if you can with maybe another ranch or something else that you'd want to dip into this with. But like I said, it's nice to have a choice with this. I'm really kind of surprised honey barbecue is what they settled on. I don't really think it fits with this type of thing. But the marinara, of course, it is what it is. The ranch being what it is as well. But the honey barbecue, not sure why, to be honest. So with all that said, I'm going to have to give the Big Dipper pizza, aka the Big Dipper breadstick platter as far as I'm concerned, a pretty decent 9 out of 10. This will absolutely satisfy a whole group of people, guys. And the fact that you're getting a decent amount on top of it at nearly 2 feet long is a lovely situation. Just in terms of presentation, it wins. Cost-wise, not too bad at about 54, 55 cents a piece. And I'm definitely digging the overall presentation, like I said. Very cool. But that honey barbecue, no bueno, at least for me anyway. But of course, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do me a quick favor. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this Big Dipper pizza, aka the breadstick platter. Is this something that you think you'd probably want to rock with? And hey, for those of you who've been around for a while, do you guys remember the Bigfoot pizza? Does this kind of remind you of that? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, carefully with this nearly two foot long box in front of me right now, guys, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. How's this for perspective, guys? I'm nearly sitting in the back seat of my car right now. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.